Greetings everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I have a very cool device for you all that I think could be useful if you work in the cybersecurity field. The name of this device is the Orange Pi 02W. Basically this device is a single board computer made by the Orange Pi company. A single board computer is a complete computer built on a single circuit board with microprocessors, memory and input-output ports. Orange Pi sent me this device about a month ago and this video is based on thorough testing of the device. Thank you to Orange Pi for sending me this. Unfortunately, I can't show you the device visually, and this isn't a review video. Instead, we're going to install our favorite hacking operating system, Kali Linux, on this little device. So, without wasting any more time, let's start converting this little circuit board into a hacking device. To install Kali Linux on our Orange Pi 02W, we'll need a few things. First, of course, is the Orange Pi 02W and at least an 8GB SD card. I'm using a 32GB one. You'll also need an SD card reader and a computer to flash the Kali Linux image onto the SD card. Once you have all of these, we can move on to the next steps. So here I am on my Kali Linux computer. First, we need to download the official Kali Linux image for our Orange Pi 02W. To do that, Open the GitHub page from the link provided in the description. By the way, I found this repository in the official Orange Pi 02W download section. Scroll down to the bottom, where you'll find the required image. It's a minimal version of Kali Linux, meaning it only has the essential packages, but don't worry, we can install more later. Alright, now go ahead and download the image. Next, open your Linux terminal. We need to extract the downloaded file to get our Kali Linux image. Navigate to the directory where the file was downloaded, and once you've successfully changed the directory, type the following command to extract it. After you've extracted the file, it's time to flash the image onto the SD card. Plug your SD card into your computer using the SD card reader, and make sure you don't have any important data on it, as it will be erased during the process. I'm going to use the built-in Linux command DD to flash the image onto the SD card. If you're on Windows, you can use Rufus or Bellina Etcher. Now type LSBLK to see a list of all storage devices connected to your PC. In my case, it's SDB with a size of 29 gigabytes. Copy the SD card's path, as we'll use it in the next command. Now that you have the path, type the following command. I'll provide all these commands in the description. Once you enter the command, make sure to change the storage path accordingly. After that, press Enter, and it will start flashing the image to your SD card. It may take a few minutes, so grab a coffee. All right, the flashing process is complete. Now we need to make some configurations in the Kali Linux files so it will automatically connect to our Wi-Fi network and start the SSH server, allowing us to connect remotely. Follow the steps shown to open a root terminal in your SD card storage. Navigate to the boot directory and type the following command to create an empty file named SSH. Doing this will automatically start the SSH service when you boot your Orange Pi 02W. Next, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Navigate to the WPA supplicant directory, which you'll find inside the etcetru directory. Once you're in the WPA supplicant directory, type the following command to open a new file called wpasupplicant.conf. You'll need to paste the lines of code I'll provide in the description into this file. After pasting, we need to make a few changes. For example, in the third line, you'll see the country is set to PK. Change this according to your location, like US for the United States or IN for India. After that, scroll down and enter your Wi-Fi name and password. When everything looks good, press Ctrl plus X to exit and save the configuration. After that, move one directory back, and change your directory to network. Now type ls and you will see a file name interface. Open it using nano and paste the following lines. You will find them in video description. Also, don't forget to replace Wi-Fi name and password. Now we're ready to go. Unplug your SD card from the reader and insert it into your Orange Pi 02W power on the device. And after a few minutes, you'll see a green light blinking. This means the Orange Pi is connected to the network. Now, let's connect to our Orange Pi 02W. Open a terminal on your Kali Linux machine and run an Nmap scan on your network to get the IP address of the Orange Pi. Alternatively, 
you can log into your router's admin page to find the IP address. Once you have the IP address, type the following command to connect via SSH. The default password is Kaylee. Enter the password, and now we're in the orange Pi 02W. Finally, we need to set up the device so it will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi and start SSH on every boot. Type the following two commands to complete the setup. Now it will connect to your Wi-Fi and start SSH every time you power it on. Once you're connected, type apt update and apt upgrade to update and upgrade your packages. You can now install hacking tools like Nmap and Metasploit and run them efficiently. If you want to install a desktop environment, you can do that easily and use VNC or the mini HDMI port for display output. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video on installing the desktop environment and VNC on this device. I've been using this device for a while now and haven't noticed any major issues. The temperature stays around 40 degrees Celsius without a cooling system. Mine has 2 gigabytes of RAM, but it also comes in a 4 gigabyte version. I highly recommend checking it out. The link is in the description. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you in this video. If you found it useful, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any issues with installing Kali Linux on the Orange Pi 02W, let me know in the comments, or you can reach me via email or Instagram. Thanks for watching.